Another seemingly underseen film from the visionary Polish director Andrzej Wajda, this title, known in English as Pilot and Others, was aired as a television film in Germany in March 1972 in the days leading up to Easter. The airing date was not just a coincidence. The content of this film, adapted from Mikhail Bulgakov's The Master and the Margarita, concerns Pontius Pilate's judgment of Yeshua Ha Nozri. You would recognize him as Jesus of Nazareth, hence the particular airing date. This story is one of three woven into Bulgakov's novel, and Vida chose to hone in on this particular tale, especially after he had been, in the past, encouraged to direct a film of the Passion of Jesus. The fictional account of In the Master and the Margarita gave Vida his preferred basis for filming the trial and crucifixion of Jesus Christ. However, rather than being a historical piece that recreates Jerusalem at the time of the Roman Empire, Vida's film appears to take place in the early 1970s West Germany. In fact, it has been noted that Vida utilized remnants of Third Reich buildings as his sets, including the infamous Nuremberg Auditorium, where Hitler had addressed his followers. It is surreal to witness Jesus carrying his cross through the streets of 70s Frankfurt, passing traffic and escorted by armed police officers past buildings across concrete. This film appears to take the fascinating route, I have not read the novel so I'm unsure if this originates there, of portraying Jesus as an inconsistent mortal. This Jesus of Nazareth, well, Yeshua, grovels to Pilate and assures him that he means no heresy to the Jews, nor to Caesar. Rather, he mentions that a Levite named Matthew has been misinterpreting his harmless bohemian musings as more revolutionary pronouncements. This is a hugely fascinating take. Pontius Pilate himself is portrayed very memorably by Jan Kreksma, a rather noted veteran of the Polish stage. Some of his close-ups are sensational. I, I found this film highly interesting, yet another classic picture from Vida, and one which really revels in creative film direction and diversity of techniques. I might say that I found it more interesting aesthetically than narratively, although I do find it to be rather interesting narratively as well. I mean, still though, if it wasn't directed by Vida, I cannot imagine this being nearly as interesting. Thank you all, and have a swell day.